I mentioned before that Yuri Prohaska had an almost no chance against Alex in this rematch, and look at the outcome. It's not that Yuri isn't good, he's fantastic, and I would argue that his wild style can beat everyone in this weight class. However, Alex is simply a far superior striker. Yuri made too many mistakes, and you can't afford to make mistakes when you're fighting Alex. Alex dominated Yuri in every aspect of the fight, which made Yuri more hesitant during this fight. Alex already felt Yuri striking in their first fight, so he kind of knew what to expect the second time around. He chopped down Yuri's legs and neutralized the clinch. Alex landed his powerful left hand not once, but twice, and could have finished the fight in the first round if there was more time. By that point, Yuri was so concussed that he was inviting Alex to come down and fight him. And at this point, it was quite clear that the fight would end in the next round. In the second round, Alex landed a beautiful head kick following by ground and pound to finish the fight. And I'm not gonna lie, I was actually quite amazed on Alex Pereira's power. Because in 205, he's so overpowered. The dude practically is Thanos when it comes to the stand-up. Now, after this weekend, now he has a total of 5 fights in the span of 14 months. Now that's incredible. This is how professional fighting used to be in both boxing and MMA, and this is why Alex is so beloved. What makes Alex different is that he's one of those few fighters who is truly active. He keeps himself sharp, never allows himself to become dull. He has the touch of death that keeps everyone watching his fights at the edge of their seat. He's respectful and has a strong sense of self and moral compass. He's an all around stud who deserves the praise that he gets. The most underrated part of Alex's career is the tail end of his kickboxing career. The people he's beaten during that time were world class champions and he knocked out most of them. He's already one of the greatest kickboxers of our era and now he is a champion in multiple UFC weight classes. And I'ma say it, this guy might be the GOAT of martial arts in general if he continues like this. I also forgot to mention that I feel really bad for Yuri Prohaska. Seeing him get folded like that made me feel very awful. This guy was meditating for what, three days, asking the universe if he should take this fight and he still didn't win? Dude, that sucks. I hope he comes back strong though. I love to see him fight either Khalil Roundtree or Jan Blachowicz next. Now, you're probably wondering what's next for Alex. Now, if you ask me, it's quite clear what's next. It has to be Magomed Ankalaev. Ankalaev is the final boss for Alex, and this match will truly test him. And in this fight, we'll get to see how good Alex's grappling defense really is. If you watch his recent fights, you can see the slow progression and evolution in his grappling defense and his clinch work. Personally, I don't want to see him move to the heavyweight division just yet. He needs to finish this chapter first. And believe it or not, there's a strong chance that Alex might beat Ankalaev. If I'm not mistaken, Ankalaev has said that he would stand and trade with Alex, which I don't think is the best strategy. If he does that, he's definitely going to lose. There's no doubt in my mind. And I actually do believe Ankalaev might do this. He might try this just to prove a point because his egos have cost him fights before. I mean, after all, he attempted to outclass Jan on the feet before, and then later on, he decided to switch to the grappling when it wasn't working. And there was another time when Ankalaev tried to outgrapple Craig Jones and ended up getting submitted by a triangle choke because he didn't respect Craig Jones' BJJ. And if he's able to beat Ankalaev, then let's see the super fights at this point. I would love to see him fight Tom Aspinall. I'd like to think that Aspinall would win, but like I said, you never know with the sport, am I right? But yeah, besides Magomed, there's no one I really want to see Alex fight in this weight class. I think he beats everybody in the top 10, so at this point, the fight with Ankalaev is a must. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and like always, guys, I'll see you guys on my next one.